I was talking with a buyer on the phone a few minutes ago, going over some of the new listings that have come out in a couple of days and getting uh, some thoughts together as far as what they wanted to see. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at some homes. And when I got off the phone, I noticed a new text had just come in. And basically, here's what it said. Hi, I'm interested in some of the homes, and I'm just curious about how the process goes. We're looking to find a home in the next two or three months. This is a typical question that we get a lot, uh, probably sometimes as often as three or four times a day. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to stop and give you a little bit of information about how I would typically respond to this question. Uh, it's so, so many things that need to be done when you're thinking about buying a home. And sometimes people just need to answer a few basic questions and get on the right track and then you can help them get into a house. Hi, my name is Kyle No, and I'm with First United Realty, and I've been working with home buyers and sellers here in the Northwest Oklahoma City area for over 30 years now. Basically, if you don't know what you're doing, you just need to find somebody to talk to, someone like myself, a realtor, maybe a loan officer, if, a, if you don't know of any realtors, and just see what your situation is. There are so many things that determine what you're eligible for as far as the programs that are currently available. But when I first talk to somebody, I want to get a little bit of information about their job, how long they've been on their job, what their current income is, uh, whether or not they've got any kind of savings plans at work, 401k or anything like that. Just to get a good understanding of what their income is, how long they've been on their job, and whether or not they're in a stable employment situation. Then I'd like to see what kind of payments they have. You know, do they have a car payment? Do they have a car loan uh, for their wife or their spouse or their son or their daughter? Just one car payment? You know, get as much information I can about that. Whether or not they've got any other loans out there, maybe student loans, uh, maybe some credit cards, something like that. Could be a credit card at Sam's, maybe even Walmart or something like that. Anyway, we get the monthly debt, debt obligations that typically show on somebody's credit report. And then I kind of get a feel for what they're doing rent-wise. You know, how much are they currently paying? Are they comfortable paying that? Uh, is that a payment that they can commit to? You know, get a really good idea about how they're doing on their rent. They're making their payments on time. Is everything going well from that point of view? And then, what kind of savings they might possibly have. What do you normally have in your checking account? Do you actually have a savings account where you're accumulating some money for down payments and things like that? There's just a whole lot of information that's needed to get a feel for where somebody's at, where they're starting at, and where I can help them get to. But anyway, this person here wanted to know about something, uh, you know, what can I do in two or three months? I want to buy a home. So that's the first place to start. After you get some of that basic information, I can tell them what they can do, whether or not they uh, are eligible maybe for down payment assistance. If not, then may, they may have to have their own savings to get off, uh, you know, get off the rent rolls and uh, quit playing the rent game, so to speak. But anyway, that's kind of where I get that uh, from the very start, what needs to be done. And then I give them a game plan. You know, do they need to raise their credit scores? Sometimes they don't even know what their credit scores are. Maybe I need to run their credit report or work with the lender to run their credit report for them. Anyway, there's a whole lots of things that go into this, but it's not complicated. It's just something that you need to give them a little bit of guidance because most people, you know, they, they want the help to get to where they're going they kind of know they're in a rut. They don't want to rent anymore, but on the other hand, they don't know how to become a homeowner. So that's kind of the first step. You know, and usually I can do that in a 10 or 15 minute conversation, helping them find the way, find a path to homeownership. Then uh, it becomes more of a matter of what the actual pre-approval process is. It's basically getting all that information done, verifying pay stubs, Ver verifying their other payments, running the credit report, see what their actual scores are. Because there's lots of different programs out there, but until you really know their situation, you don't know how to help them or what you need to do. Anyway, I know I kind of rambled on there for a little bit about what needs to be done, 
But the important thing to do is just make that phone call, you know, whether it's to me or somebody else. Make that phone call and tell them what you're looking for. Uh, tell them what you got to work with and let somebody help you because very, very few people can go out and buy a home on their own. It just takes a little bit of planning. Sometimes it can take two or three months planning like this person here would like to buy a home in two or three months. Sometimes it can be a year. But in any event, I am here to help you. I'll do anything I can within reason, of course, and we'll go from there. But uh, somebody always likes to also look at home listings, and we always send them to home listings to look at. Anyway, I don't know if that's been very helpful, but I can tell you this. If you make that first call, that first call, tell me your situation. Most of the time, I can have you in a home within six to nine months, and sometimes in a matter of 30 to 60 days. Just give me a call. I'm at 405-210-5319. We'll have that conversation, and we'll see what we can do to help you become a homeowner. Bye-bye.